Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make your weapon fully automatic. What I mean by that is when you click in the game and you try to shoot your weapon, you can only shoot one bullet at a time. It's not really realistic and I've had a lot of you guys asking to make it fully automatic. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. And we're also going to be setting up a very basic ammo counter so that the weapon is only fired if the player has ammo for it. So what we're going to do then is we're going to need to go over to our blueprints folder, go to our weapon and open up our weapon underscore base for our AK-47. The reason being is inside of here I need to set up two things. The first thing that I'm going to set up inside of this is going to be the fire rate, so how quickly this weapon can fire, and we're also going to use this to set up a basic ammo counter as well, so we're just going to give it like one magazine of ammo, just so that we can check and make sure it's got enough. So. Bottom left hand corner, we're going to go over to variables as it's going to be storing all of our data for the fire rates and also for the ammo. First variable that I'm going to create is simply going to be ammo and the variable type for that is just going to be an integer. The reason why I'm using an integer for that is because it's a whole number, I don't need to worry about decimal points so there's no need to worry about working with floats or anything like that. And then if I go ahead and compile this, I can set the default value to something like 50, and that'll just give me 50 bullets that I can use later on. Going over to the variables again, add a new variable, and this time we are going to call this fire rate, just like this. Now this is going to be time, so I'm going to work with float instead. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit compile and the fire rate for this is pretty much how many times it can fire in a second. So, well not how many times it can fire in a second, but you know, so it's basically the delay between each shot. So I want 0.1 second between each shot, so which means it's going to be firing 10 shots a second. So if I want 10 shots a second, I've got to set this to 0.1. I'm going to leave it at this for now. We can change this later on once we get a pretty solid value, once we can actually see it working in the game. So that's all done, go ahead and compile this, and now head over to your third person character blueprint, just open it up from your content browser, and then inside of here find the bit where we've done our primary fire. Now I'm going to clear us a little bit of space, so I'm going to move my crouch and my sprint down just a little bit, and then over with my fire, you can see at the moment it's going straight to fire, it's not checking to see if we've got enough ammo, um, and there's no loop in place for us to, you know, just keep on doing stuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a new variable inside of my third, inside of my third person character, and I'm just going to set this to f is firing. So is firing, and that's going to be something we we check when we do this pressed and release stuff as well. So what I'm going to do is from pressed, I'm going to go ahead and set is firing to true just like this, and then I'm going to copy this and paste it for the released and hook this up as well. So what it's going to do now then, is if we go ahead and tick the top one, and then leave the bottom one unticked, it's going to fire the weapon and set the variable to true. But as of right now, the variable isn't going to do anything because we're not running any conditioning. So, what we're going to do, is we're simply going to hook this up to fire here, and then what I'm going to do after that, is I'm going to add a delay and then this delay is simply going to be our fire rate of the weapon so instead of manually typing in a value here we can get it from the weapon that's in the hand at the moment so what I'm going to do is type in get fire rate and then I'm just going to hook this up to my duration here so now what this is doing is taking the fire rate from the weapon, the equipped weapon which is 0.1 and hooking up into the delay and then from here after that we're going to run a check, a branch, to see whether or not is firing is true. So get a reference to is firing, and then if it is still true, what we're going to do is simply tell it to go back and fire the weapon. And then if it's not true, we're simply going to tell it to do nothing. It doesn't need to do anything. So if we go ahead and compile this now, we should have no errors. Press play hold down the mouse and you can see it's now going to shoot fully automatic, we got loads of bullets coming out and as soon as we release that mouse button you can see the bullets stop coming out as well. And that's pretty much the basics of our fully automatic weapon. 
Now, as of right now, we've got unlimited ammo, and that's something that we need to set up for our weapon. So, all we're going to do is go back to our third person character, and we're just going to run another check to see whether or not the equipped weapon has got enough ammo. And then each time it fires, we're also going to tell it to take away one from the ammo as well. So, go to weapons, uh, sorry, go to blueprints, and then open up your third person character. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up our fire function. Because inside of this fire function, what I'm going to have it do is set the ammo. And then we are just going to you know, take one away from that. So I'm just going to get the original value and then I'm going to do um, integer minus integer, hook this up just like that and we're just going to get to take away one each time. So now it's going to take one away from the ammo, that's all good. Go back into our third person character now and then what we're going to do is just before we do fire or just before we set is firing to true is we're going to run a quick branch to check to see whether or not the equipped weapon has got enough ammo. So I'm going to drag out pressed, I'm going to go to branch, and then from here, what I'm going to do for the condition, get my equipped weapon again, so get a reference to that, and then simply get, uh, get ammo, so type that in there. And then once we've done that, just drag these out, make a bit of space, and then the check that we're going to do then is to simply see if our integer is greater than 1. And then if it is greater than 1, it's going to be able to fire because we've got enough ammo. So hook up your top one to the first value, and then the second one to 1. And then from here, what it's going to do now then is pretty much set this, if it's got enough ammo, it's going to you know do all the good stuff. Now, what I will do is I'm actually going to have a print string in a moment just to check to see how much ammo that we've got. But for now, I can see the system's going to work. So I'm going to press play now, keep shooting it, and I'm just going to let it shoot out maybe 50 bullets, and the plan is that it's going to stop. Now, if it doesn't stop, we need to look into this, and I think it's definitely shot out more than 50 bullets. So I'm going to open up my third person character again, and I'm just going to take another quick look at this. Now, the reason why it didn't stop is because it's going to keep firing as part of this loop. It's not checking the branch at the beginning here. So we need to get this true bit, and we need to drag it all the way back to the beginning where it actually does the check to see if it's got enough ammo. If we compile it now, press play, and then we're just going to let it shoot out 50 bullets, and it should automatically stop for us. So there you are, you can see it stopped, and I cannot fire again if I try to press the left click again. So the player's now going to have to, you know, pick up some more ammo, or they're also going to have to maybe just try change weapon or do whatever they've got to do. So, one thing that I will do to make things a little bit easier is I'm going to open up my FPS HUD quickly, and I'm just going to show you how to make a basic text counter for our ammo so we can see exactly how much ammo they've got on the screen. So open up your FPS HUD widget from the blueprints folder, and then inside of here, just add a piece of text. The text for this is going to be bound to a variable. The variable for that is going to be our equipped weapon. So what I'm going to do is cast to my third person character, and then as my third person character, get equipped weapon. And then as equipped weapon, what we're going to do is simply type in get ammo just like that. And then we're pretty much just going to turn this into a print string. So turn it over, not a print string, but to a text value. So hook it up to the return node. It's going to do the two text stuff. And then over here for cast to third person character, type in get player character, hit compile, hit play. And now you can see it says 50 on my screen there. And when I click, you can see my ammo counter going down and that is working perfectly. I think it's a bit too small at the moment, so I'm going to go back into the design view for my stuff here, and then I'm just going to change the font size up to something like 50. And then with this, I am simply going to move this down into the bottom left hand corner, set my justification over to the left as well, press play, and you can see it in my bottom left there, 
and when I shoot, you can see my ammo counter going down. So hopefully you guys can now see just how much our weapon is starting to come into life. There's still loads more for us to do for this. Um, we're going to have different firing modes. We've still got to set up the animation, the muzzle flash, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.